Good morning and welcome. It's Sunday the 12th of June. I am Flat Cap Callum and I'm hoping you are all very, very well. Two days to go until Royal Ascot starts. So first video for Royal Ascot for me will be tomorrow night. That is Monday night. That will be for Tuesday's medium staking plan. So that will come today we've got a normal staking day there's a there's a few handicaps um that are quite quite interesting looking so and i've spread the stake a little bit and i've made it to a, a, a normal stake day so it's a 20 pound stake day um albeit uh i think it's nine races uh I'm, I'm we're looking at total so i've done it as um three lucky 15s one's a little bit more complicated um i was looking at cross doubles and trebles and stuff and i just on the prices i've got i wasn't happy enough to do it with those so so we're going mainly lucky 15s today so that is coming up with for that we'll do the review of yesterday and at the end we'll do a word on the golf okay yesterday um busy day um lots flying in in terms of decent places it didn't ultimately convert to a profit. So I had it as 30 on, 29.36 back, a loss of 64 pence um, is how I made it. It will vary slightly depending on what prices you got. So some of them you might have got a better price. SPs, generally the morning price was better, but there's a couple that the SPs were better. Um, so yeah, there was a little bit of variance um, in there. So we'll, we'll, we'll run it through. Hopefully nobody should have lost anything uh, much at all though. So... First bet, uh, at York. So we had Casilli disappointing. Devast um, went 16 to 1, that was in the end, and running wild place. So they were, they were both third. Enigmatic wasn't anywhere. So it was a place double there. 16s and 13 to 2 uh, SPs were better than what I got in the morning. So if you've done it as SPs, you may well have got a better return on that bet than I've got on the channel because we only had Devast at 11. Um, it wouldn't have made a huge amount of difference, but it would have made some. And then this bet, this was the one that um, I think only Sky and Coral would have got the place double because Lyndon B, a bit disappointing. Uth Pendragon, 25, so it was a touch bigger. Uh, the new Marwan SP at 14s. Um, so, yeah, if, you, if you'd done it as SPs, it would have been very, very similar, but you may have slightly got a better price. Um, and, yeah, the, it would be a place single only if um, you'd done it other than Sky or Coral's. Um, if you'd done it with Sky, you'd have got the place double, um, which is helpful because that is what I flagged to uh, to do it on. So that's the first time I've done the bets like that, and uh, it, that that's worked out all right. So that was okay. Um, what I would, what I was going to say, uh, yeah, I mean the new Marwin. If you watch that race, oh, I got done on the line. It was very, very close to being a nice winner there, but but shame. There we go. Um, bet three. We had the first two were one out of the placings. War Hero um, was a bit down the field. and Dueling Dance was a non-runner. The horse I put in as a replacement didn't quite get there either. So nothing back, whichever way you've done that bet um, on that one. So that was a bit bit frustrating, really. Um, we had a bit of closeness. Then Wind Trixie didn't work today, or today, yesterday. So Johnson's Blue won comfortably, and it went off a much shorter price. But the other two got turned over. So nothing back on the Wind Trixie. Um, and then... This one was the one that actually saved the day, um, which was the one that I did lower stake on. Um, so White Strand that placed at 10s, Bullet Force placed at 9s, Roach Power disappointing, and Zara's turns 14. So all three of those went in in price um, to get the place treble. Um, I think it was second day in a row, we've got two horses in one race, and if I'd done it the other way around, like I'd done the, the, the bet the day before, you would we would have had a very, very different outcome. So if that was Divas, not Roach Power, it is what it is. Part, part of the challenge is finding some of the right horses, and the next challenge is getting them in the right bets together. Um, and today, today is definitely one of them days where I could well have got it wrong. Um, as in, I might have the right horses, but have I got them in the right bets? We'll find out. So that was yeah that yesterday. So that was a decent return um, for that each way treble, but better prices in the morning on that one. So as I said, uh, thirty on twenty nine thirty six back. So a hundred ahead for the week. Um, it's been it's generally been a, a good week. There's been uh, more good days and bad days, and only one really bad day. Um, so much better than we've had the last fortnight. So that has changed. We'll see how we end the week. So what have I got? Um, starting off with this one. This one, I would say marginally better with Sky. I've, I've put bookmakers on these, but but it's very marginal to say. Uh, only reason I'm saying Sky, two of these races are one extra place. 
Um, and I just, you never know if it's going to make a difference or not. It's not going to make a difference to any sort of jackpot payout, but in terms of, um, you know, getting a bit more place money, it might do. Um, so it's it's not a strong a strong one. So if, you know, Sky would be my best advice on that one, but it doesn't matter hopefully too much. So these are much smaller prices. So we've got one thirty seven Saffron. I've got two in that one thirty seven Doncaster race. Saffron uh, there first at seven to one. Then the two forty Salisbury Maidan Row six to one. Then the three o five Gowran Park. I've got three there. Um, Every little step eight to one is the first one. And then the three forty at Gorham Park Hot Bell eleven to one. And I've done that a little bit of a higher stake, lucky fifteen, because there's no extras. I've done it as twenty four p each way, lucky fifteen on that one. That is bet one. That is nice and straightforward. Bet two is the complicated one. Um. And I'm, I've marginally, marginally called that a paddy bet, but only because um, <clears throat> most bookies are the same terms. I think it's the only the bottom race, Sky are one place more than anyone else. Um, but when I just before I did the video, the prices were marginally better with paddy. But if you've got the option to go and search and look on odds checker, you have a look and, and find out. But it's very marginal difference. Um, ideally, what you want here is because there's only one extra place rates on that one, um, the others are the same terms as most bookies, is you want to make sure you've got a best price guaranteed um, on this. So that would be preferable. So we are starting off with 137 Doncaster Strongbow. So that's the, I've got two in that race, as I've said. Then we've got the 230 Gorham Park Petticoat Rule 10 to 1. And then the 305 is, is one of those ones where I've split the lucky 15, so I've got two. So I've had one of in the 305 in the previous bet, and I've got two more here. Never back down in Zao here. So if this 305 doesn't go well, <laughs> then that's probably going to cost us for the day. And then the 340 Gatsby Park is my second horse there. So I've done that as two 10p each way lucky 15. So legs one, two, and four are the same. And then in leg three, you've got never back down. And then in the second bet, Zao here is your leg three. What I've also done is two 20p each way doubles on these two Gorham Park ones and Strongbow. So 20p each way double, Strongbow and Never Back Down, and 20p each way double, Strongbow and Zawir. I've not done the cross doubles or, or trebles. I could have done, I just I was happy enough with where I got to with this. So that is bet two. Um, and then Bet three, this was Paddy as well, slightly. The terms are the same, pretty much any bookie. Paddy had slightly better prices, um, but Paddy aren't a bookmaker that if you've got a lucky 15, um, a bonus, they don't pay out bonuses for single winners and things. So um, it's it's very, very, very marginal, which is the right bookie, but the prices were just before I did the video were marginally better with Paddy. Um, so yeah, this is completely separate to the other two bets. This is a Down Patrick bet. I actually had a little look. I didn't do anything at Down Patrick yesterday, and today I was. I found four. I thought I'm happy to put together a lucky fifteen. So we've got one forty-five. So ladylike, ten to one. Only two places in that race. Four oh five. Uh, the Abbey, seven to one. Only two places in that race. Then four places in the four forty. Green and white army tens, and then standard terms three places in the five fifteen. Country Queen, seven to two. I thought it was, it was worth a little bit of a go. I don't you know. And yeah, they're not big prices and they're not lots of, they're not big field extra place races, but I had a little look round. Um, and the top three have all shrunk in odds since last night. So you could have got bigger odds on all three of those top ones. Um, I still think there's value in the price of them. But I mean, last night there was there was there was quite a bit more, but it's still worth doing the bet. So that is bet three. OK, as usual, any questions, shove it in the comments. And as far as the golf goes, Henny Duplessis cracking. He was one shot off the winner at Charles Schwartzel. So he's banked us some money. So we've got half the money back for the golf from, from Henny placing. The question now is pretty much probably is Jerry Kelly in the, in the Champions Tour. Can he secure top five? Because if he can get top five, that should give us a profit for the golf. Um, if he can go and win, that'd be amazing. He's only three shots off the lead, so it's not out of the question. That would be even better. Um, Mackenzie Hughes looks like he's too far out of it now. I think he's six six shots back, so it'd be very unlikely for Mackenzie to, to, to make it for a lucky 15, but we'll see. And then we've still got a single on Ken uh, Tanaganawa, which he's close enough to make it interesting. So mainly focus is looking at the two in the Champions Tour that kick off about tea time tonight to see if we get anything back. All right, that is me. 
I shall be back in the morning as usual um, and then I'll be back Monday night for the first Ascot video. I'm thinking these Ascot videos um, probably going to be somewhere between 9 and 10 in the evening. That's my, my plan. So the evening ones will be between 9 and 10 and then they'll be the normal one in the morning. All right. Enjoy your lovely Sunday. I hope I mean, I look, the weather looks pretty good most places, but you know, I know there's people watching from far afield, so it might not be exactly where you are. Um, but it looks like a nice week, and it's yeah, the night and Ascot weather looks great. Um, I mean, Friday looks an absolute scorch at the moment for Ascot. Forecast 27 degrees. Um, I was going to finish a video. I was going to say actually. Um, the decent thing about that is hopefully it means the ground's consistent, um, which does help. Um, as you'll know, in Cheltenham, it all went a bit muddy one day. Um, so we've got, if we've got consistent ground, that does help for Ascot. All right, I will see you in the morning. Thanks very much. Cheerio.